everybody. Today we're going to do an I Spy Make at Home project. Ready? Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is search around the house for a whole bunch of little objects that you can find. They might be toys, maybe you've got some Lego, I've just got a whole bunch of little things that I could find around our house. Um, try and find things that are lots of different colors, um, find maybe multiples of things. So if you can find um, things that are one, two, three, you can see that I've got four little bunnies. I've got some Lego letters, a pen. I found a number of locks for suitcases when we travel. And, and then a bunch of things that are just really random. So we start with that. Good luck on your little scavenger hunt. I get a piece of paper and then I get another piece of paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one on top of the other. And we are making an I Spy page just like the books that were written by Walter Wick. And each page has a spread of objects on uh, a spread. And then they've got four lines of rhyming text. So I'm gonna draw four lines using a ruler because I really can't draw very straight. It doesn't matter how far they are apart. Just try and eyeball it so that they're pretty even, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So there we go. I've made four lines, one, two, three, four. And the style that the I Spy book reads is what we call rhyming couplets. So the first line and the second line end with words that rhyme. And the third line and the fourth line also end in words that rhyme. The first two words and the last two words don't rhyme together. So I look at all the things that I've got that I found in my house and I try and find some things that rhyme. So right off the bat, I see a house and I see a mouse. So those are two words that we know that rhyme. Now, when you're putting them on your page, remember not to place them this way because we're gonna be photographing them from above. So you have to change the way that you kind of look at things. You're looking at it from a different angle, right? So I'm going to write the word I spy on the first line and then I'm going to write the words I spy on the third line. Then I'm going to add the word house at the end of one line and I'm going to add the word mouse at the end of the second line. Remember I said that lines, these two first two lines rhyme house and mouse. Now I'm going to look at my pile of found objects and I'm going to find two more things that rhyme. And I have a star, we'll put it up here, and I have a car, car and star. So we're going to write the word car here and star there. Perfect. Now, another thing to do is add a descriptive word. So you could say that you have a blue house or a big house, or you might think that's a small house. So I'm gonna write blue house. We're kind of working our way backwards here. And this mouse, let's say he's a little mouse. L-L-I-T-L-I-T-T-L-E, there we go, I spelled it right. The car. It's a little bit tipped over right now, but we'll fix that when we kind of do our final layout. How about a shiny car? See how those that word, shiny, describes what the car looks like. And the star is pink, so why not say a pink star? There we go. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. So now the fun part is that we get to... Now the fun part is that we get to add a bunch of things on the page to fill in all the white space. So I'm just gonna take some of my found objects and I'm gonna carefully put them on the page and you can place them upside down or sideways or right side up. This is where you get to design your own page the way that you want it to be. So now I've got some locks. I'm gonna add these here. That one's open, kind of adds a little bit of variety. I've got all these little letters. There's a Q, there's a G. How about a cut cucumber? And I've got a pen, so I'm gonna put the pen in there. You might have to adjust things as you go. This is part of getting to be what an artist is. 
they get to style things and you can decide where everything goes on your page as the way that you want it to be. Look at this funny little guy right here. Let's put him right side up so we can see him. Here's a heart. There we go. And I've got a dog. And I'm just gonna put a few more letters on here. There's a Q and an N and an I. Hey, you know what? I can spell the word hi, H-I, hi, I like it. Then an F, oops, I just moved it. That was a mistake. But you know what, I can move it back because there's no mistakes when it comes to art. All right, ooh, I like that, it's kind of cute. And I've got one more lock, let's fill in that space. Okay, so now that we've got all of our objects on a page and we have our rhyming couplets here, so the two lines that rhyme, two and two, house and mouse and car and star, we're gonna fill in a bit of the line. Now, you don't wanna name everything that's on your page because a lot of it is just kind of filling in spaces. But you can randomly choose things that you want the reader to find. So I'm gonna start with, I spy a silver heart. I like that. And then how about adding a pen and a blue house. So the first line would be, I spy a silver heart, a pen, and a blue house. The next line, we don't start with I spy, we just start with the object. And I'm going to actually give the viewer, or the reader, a challenge to find one, two, three frogs. So three frogs, oops, I just moved my page, comma, a dog, there he is, and then, and a little mouse. So there we go, we've already got half of our rhyme done. I spy a silver heart, a pen, and a blue house, three frogs, a dog, and a little mouse. Third line, I spy, how about we do three gold locks? See how I have five locks? But I'm gonna ask you to only find three. I spy three gold locks and a shiny car. And remember how I said we're gonna fix that car so that we can see it a bit better on an angle? There we go. And then the fourth line, let's see what we could do. How about we ask the viewer to find two cues? And we're gonna put them in quotations. Now, I'm gonna point them to you, it's one, two. See how sneaky that is? Two cues, what else could we have a look for? Let's see, how about, hmm, the bunnies. One, two, three, four. Four bunnies and a pink star. We did it. Okay, let's put the whole thing together. I spy a silver heart, a pen, and a blue house. Three frogs, a dog, and a little mouse. I spy three gold locks and a shiny car, two cues, four bunnies, and a pink star. So now that you have your I spy page, you can take a picture of it on your phone, on your parents' phone or camera, and then you can actually clear the whole thing and make another one. So why don't we do that? We're gonna, or you can set the challenge up before I clear the whole thing. You can set the challenge up um, and maybe give it to a sibling to do or one of your parents or take a picture. Maybe someday you wanna make a book and you can print your pages um, that you made for your, your very own I Spy book. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my rhyme, I'm just gonna slide it out, I'm gonna turn it around so I've got a brand new page. There we go, I'm gonna get my ruler out and I'm gonna make four lines. One, two, three, and four. There we go. I'm gonna clear the whole thing, take everything off, because we can use all of these objects in a different way this time. So, we're gonna start with I spy on the first line and the third line, good. Now, you're gonna figure out what you're going to use as your words that rhyme. 
So how about I use the word hog? That's another word for pig. And I have a dog. See how those two words sound the same? Hog and dog. So I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. I'm gonna put him upside down and in the corner. All right, so there's my dog. Now, what other words can we use that rhyme? How about we go back to the star and car? Because we know that those sound the same. So we've got a star. Oh, do you see the theme there? We've got things that are the same color. Okay, so there's the star. And then we'll get that little car back here. The car. All right. So now we have these two words that rhyme and these two words that rhyme. Excellent. So we can start to fill it in. I'm going to put my frogs on the page. Ribbit, ribbit. Where did the other one go? I thought that I had three frogs. Hmm. Okay, the house. I may or may not use the house this time. Let's see what we can fill in. There are the bunnies. So what I'm going to do is something really. I'm going to do one, two, three. That looks pretty easy, right? But then I'm going to hide the fourth one way down here. <laughs> All right, I've got a dice. I've got a mouse, I've got those locks, but you know what, before I do that, I'm gonna put the letters down because they're so teeny tiny, I need a little bit of space for my hands to fit in there. All right, there's, whoops, the key was upside down. That would be a real challenge, wouldn't it? I'm <laughs> trying to find something that you can't see. Yeah, that's not very nice for the viewer. <laughs> okay, we'll put our cucumber piece up there. There's the eye. Um, we'll fill in with the locks. Let's see, it's kind of fun, hey? This is where you get to be really creative and come up with some really neat ways of displaying items that are just random on the page. Okay, where is my, my pen? There we go, I'm trying to get it so that you can see that we are at the Saskatoon Public Library. Ta-da! Here's a G. Oh, there's that other frog. Where did you come from, mister? Okay, there we go. All right, so there's my spread. Now we're gonna fill in with the lines that rhyme. So let's say I spy um, the letter B. The letter B. Whoops, there we go. You see it? It's upside down. Um, and let's do a mouse. There we go. And a hawk. So we already filled that word in. Now, this is where I'm gonna put my bunnies. Four bunnies. Good. And maybe we could say, let's see, a heart. You know what I wanna do there? Is I'm gonna use my eraser and I'm gonna cross out the word, or erase the word heart, and I'm gonna draw a symbol for heart. That's kinda of cool, that's not the best heart. I can do better than that, I think. All right, this is try number two. How's that? That's not bad. Four bunnies, a heart, and a, what should we say about that dog? Hmm, how about an upside down dog? I like it. All right, and the third line, I spy, and this is where we could use color. So why don't we say three purple things? Now we're gonna double check we got this right. There's one, there's two, and there's three. So we have three purple things. I love it, that's my favorite color. I spy three purple things. Um, a H, I'm gonna put in quotations. There's the letter H right there. And a star, our very last line. What should we do? Should we do pink? Why not? We've got one, two, three. Okay, three pink items. Let's change the word thing to items. Three pink items. Mm, a cucumber. No, let's make it harder. A vegetable. A vegetable and a, and then we're gonna put something with the word car. Let me fix this car so he's on an angle so that the when we take a photograph, we're gonna see it better. There we go, there's a car. And a yellow car. Okay, let's put it all together. 
I spied the letter B, a mouse and a hog, four bunnies, a heart, and an upside down dog. I spy three purple things, an H and a star, three pink items, a vegetable, and a yellow car. All right, I think that's a good start. Now you can go looking for things in your house. Remember, you'll need paper, a pencil to write, you'll need a bunch of found objects, you can use a ruler if you want to have straight lines, you might want to grab an eraser in case you want to make some changes. Remember the first two line words in the line and the last two words and the last two, three and four lines rhyme. That kind of sounds confusing, doesn't it? Um, and then just have fun. See what you can write. This is your creation. So on your mark, get set, go.